Welcome to another shave here in the Soap Thing Project. In this video, I got a sample for you from Apex Alchemy in Chicago. It is cold one. And as you might be able to see, the scent on this is inspired by Coca-Cola. So we're gonna do a shave with it today and we're gonna talk about it. The soap is a beef tallow soap base. It's got beef tallow, coconut butter, Shea butter, coconut oil, castor oil, glycerin, and agave nectar, among other ingredients. Now, Apex Alchemy does offer matching aftershave samples. The soaps sell for about $2.50 for a sample, and the aftershave samples go for about $3.50 for those of you who are curious. So that is going to be the soap and the aftershave. The razor is going to be the Rockwell 2C with the number 4 plate. And let's grab the blade bag and shake it up. Whenever we do a sample video, we got to shake up this blade bag and pick something random. I shove my hand in there. Scare the hell out of Glenn Sherman. He tends to get a little jittery whenever I stick my hand in this bag. Grab something out of the middle here. Oh, I think I got one. We'll pick this one. And we have a fucking Jesus Christ. Sometimes this damn bag really makes me want to quit the project. We have a Rockwell razor's blade. For God's sake. Well, I guess I picked it out so I got to use it. And the brush for this adventure we're having today <laughs> is going to be the QED Select 2924 24 millimeter silver tip badger. Okay, let's do this thing. cherry version. My personal favorite. Alright, let's wet the face. Now, with 40 hours growth on the face today, we're going to apply this Apex Alchemy Cold One 
which has a sim strength of, ooh, I'm gonna give this one a four out of the five, four out of five, excuse me, on the sniffle meter. It definitely pushes out quite a bit and makes a statement for itself. Let's put it on the face, here we go. And we'll talk about the scent, obviously, while we're doing the shave. Apex Alchemy makes a really slick, user-friendly soap. So if you haven't discovered them yet, definitely check them out. I don't think they're on any major retailer, but... But definitely check them out nonetheless. They do have their own website. I'll, I'll have it in the description of the video. Everything I ever use, for those who are not aware, is... In the description of the video, if I can find a, a link for it. Stretch this out a little bit with a little bit more water. This is a good scent for the hot weather we're having out here in the Mediterranean in southeast Turkey. Okay. Now the razor, I have to put this god-awful Rockwell blade into the Rockwell 2C. You would think that if you're gonna have your own branded blades, that they would be halfway decent blades. I mean, I can't remember the last time I've used a Rockwell blade in a Rockwell razor, so maybe it just works particularly well for, for this razor, but on a lot of other razors, oh God, it's not, not a good shave usually. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, yeah, not loving it. Got a painful tug to it. Even on plate number four. Yeah, no. Nope. I mean, I guess as long as I get a decent shave out of it, it should be fine. As long as I don't cut myself, I guess that makes it a good shave, right? Okay, we got the iPhone cheat sheet activated. Let's talk about the scent. So the scent for this is described how you would think it'd be described. Cold soda fizzing on ice cubes. Lime zest, lemon juice, caramel, nutmeg, ginger, cassia root. <coughs> that will be the cherry coke for you. Cassia root, vanilla, and rum. I'm not going to edit that out either. I'm just going to leave it in there. Oh, come on. After a few strokes, it's usually not too bad. So how does this smell? Well, here's the problem with soda-inspired scents more broadly. <clears throat> and this isn't this soap's fault. This is just a problem with, so, with the soda pop-inspired scents. The artisan will tend not to be able to nail the... Uh, the effervescence that you get when you smell a Sprite or a root beer or a Coke. So as a result, soda pop inspired scents tend to, say for example, you have a root beer scent. It's gonna smell a lot like a flat root beer because it is missing that necessary effervescent kind of tingle that it puts in your nose. Some scents get pretty close. Like this one's getting fairly close. There's another one, a Sprite uh, inspired scent from Kitty's Bubbles that gets close to kind of nailing that effervescent sensation that you would have with act smelling actual soda. But it's hard to replicate that with like pink pepper or aldehydes or something like that, which is how artisans normally do it. They'll add usually either pink pepper or aldehydes. A little more soap. So insofar as what artisans are generally capable of, I would say this smells a lot like Coca-Cola. Um, 
I'm getting cardamom vibes. I think that's coming from the caramel and the nutmeg, maybe the ginger, cassia root pop probably. Um, but if people get their hands on this and say it doesn't smell like Coke, it's because it's missing the effervescence that you get when you smell Coke. But I think most people will get their hands on this and, and kind of get the idea. It's definitely refreshing, without any doubt in the world. It is a refreshing scent. Good spring, summer kind of scent if, uh, if I had to put it somewhere. Oh, how's everybody doing? Hope you're having great shaves, great shaving tools, and great shaving soap, and hopefully a better blade than this. All right, let's have a rinse, see how this went. places I could touch up. I'm not drawing blood and I'm not getting razor burn or visual irritation. It's just a rough blade that's not very sharp. I don't I don't get it. Okay, let's have another rinse. Towel here. Well, it didn't feel the greatest, but it looks like it was a pretty fine shave, all things considered. Today, I am going to use my aftershave because in the last video, I completely forgot to use the aftershave I selected for that video. Just completely forgot. So, not going to make that same mistake this time. And these are not Rev Limited at all, so you might want to put your finger over top of it to keep from peeling out. Oh, that was almost too much right there. Okay. Oh, wonderful scent. The aftershave interpretation of it is a little sweeter than the soap is, and so I would say between the soap and the aftershave, the one that's the most out of character for the Coca-Cola scent is oddly the aftershave. Which is interesting because I'm getting more of an of an aldehyde vibe off of this. A little bit more of, of an attempt at an effervescence, but then it's sweeter, so I, I guess pick your battles, right? So, with that in mind, is this good enough for me to buy a full-size tub? At the moment, I'm thinking I probably would. I'm getting to the point where I'm running out of room in my collection here in Turkey, so I'm probably gonna buy it when I get back to the States, but in the meantime, uh, definitely check it out if you're curious about Apex Alchemy. Their, their shaving soaps are good to go, their aftershaves feel great on the face, and this is a uh, this is a good scent. It's a it's a good enough attempt at Coca-Cola. I don't think there's that many scents out there that are trying to do that. So if you're going to dupe something, this is definitely a good one. Questions, comments, put them in the comment section of the video. Otherwise, the soap thing telling you, have a cold one. Catch you later. <laughs>